Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. So friends, on this video, we'll see how we can create a document library using a document library template. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can do that. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and I have created two sites. One is document template and one with the name of document library. So I have opened both the sites in the new tab. So now we are on our first site document template. To demonstrate today's video, I will go to my site contents. And here I have one document library with the name of documents. And inside it, we have few files. So we will save this document library as a template, which is on document template site. And on and then we'll go to document library. This is my site document library. And I will go to site content and we will create the document library using the template which we will download from document template site so friends let's see how we can do that so first of all i will go to my document template so now to download this document library as a template we'll click on gear icon and here we have the library settings we'll click on it now click on more library settings so now we are on settings of this document library and here you can see we are not getting an option to save this document library as a template. So, so to get an option over here, we need to just simply open a PowerShell. Okay friends, so now we are on our PowerShell. I will first of all, we'll connect to our SharePoint Admin Center. So for that, we'll type the command connect-spo service. We'll press enter. Now we have to provide the URL of the SharePoint Admin Center. Now it will prompt us to add the credentials. All right. Okay, we will sign in. All right, so now we are connected. So we'll type the command to get an option of save the document library as a template. So we need to enable deny and custom pages for that. So we'll type a command set dash SPO site identity. Now we, have, we will enter the site url so this is our site url we have to set to dollar false not to dollar true now we'll press enter all right our command is executed now we'll simply just refresh the page and as you can see now we got an option of save document library as a template so we'll click on this link all right Let's give the template name. I will give it a name doc template. Template name will be the same. In description, you can enter the same. So we want to include the content which is there inside this document library. I will check the box of include content. And it's written as well. It's in, it will include the content in your template. If you want a new document library created from this template to include the items in this document library. Okay, so we'll click on okay. All right, so our document template operation completed successfully. Now, because we have to create another document library on the different site, so we'll click on list template gallery. And you can see this is our template of the document library. I will just simply click on the name of it. So it will save to our local machine. So you can see it's downloaded. Now what we need to do, our job is finished on this site. Now we'll go to the different site let me open it in the new tab so this is the site on which we want to create a document library using the template let's open the site now here we have to go to site contents site settings and here you can see we are not getting the option of and we are not getting the option of list solution gallery where we can you know up upload this template to use it on the document library so what we need to do, we need to do the same thing. I will again go back to our PowerShell. I will type this command and now we have to just add the URL of the site, which is document library. Now we'll press enter. Okay. So command is now executed. We'll go back to our site. Now, if I will refresh this page, you will see we got a lot many option now like the list templates so i will open it and here 
there is no template uploaded yet. So I will click on files and here we'll get an option of upload document. So we'll click on it. It will ask you to choose a file. So it's already downloaded. So I will click on choose a file. And here we have a template of our document library. I will click on it. I will click on open. Template is now selected. We'll click on OK. OK, so now if you want to change the template name, you can change else. I will click on save. OK, so our template of document library is uploaded on this site document library. Now let's see how we can create a document library using this template. So I will just go back to the site. We will go to site contents. Now on site contents of document library, we will simply click on the gear icon. Here we will click on add an app. So if you will click on add an app. Here you will get a message. These are SharePoint store or custom app allows by organization. Built-in apps such as custom layer, document library, calendar and other can be found in classic experience. So I will click on classic experience. If you will scroll down, you will see our template is listed over here with the name of doc template. So you just simply need to click on it. It will ask you to give the name to this document library or let's give it a name custom library. After giving a name, you can just simply click on create to create a document library. Okay, so you can see our document library. You can see the type is document library with the name custom library is created. And if I will open this document library, you can see all the files which were there inside, you know, the library of a document template. The same files are over here now. Let me show you that as well. Let me open this document library. You can see we have saved the template of this document library and the same files are now there inside this library. So friends, that's how you can create a document library using a template. So that's conclude our video demonstration. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.